<laughs> Inside of this there is water. Water is made by oxygen and hydrogen. But right now, because it's a liquid, it's impossible to make them burn. Instead, if I can bring them in a gas state, I can burn them very easy. And these two gases will burn at a very high temperature, almost like the temperature that is around the sun. And these are very high temperature, I guarantee you. Also professionals like uh, jewelry or dentists use this type of flame to make little weldings very, that are very, very strong. So I'm here in the shop. I think that this will be a very handy project so follow me for a couple of minutes I'll show you what's in my mind okay let's start the project I choose these that are stainless steel cups usually I use in kitchen for cooking muffins or something like this it's very important to choose stainless steel because otherwise we will get rusty very soon inside the water with a marker I can mark some holes two in the middle and some smaller ones all around the smaller ones are just like an air exhaust for air bubbles that will form under the cup and the two ones that are in the middle are for placing two electrodes later on you will understand what I mean so after drilling all 20 the plates this is the result we've got a 10 millimeter hole and one that is 8 millimeter and all around 3 millimeters hole that I repeat you are just for an air exhaust let me take now two stainless steel threaded bars these are 35 centimeters long and a plastic tube the plastic tube is very important because it's used to isolate electrically the two electrodes so using a scissor I can cut away sections from this little tube I'm talking about section long about one centimeter and I repeat this procedure 20 times so I got a lot of sections and I will use them to isolate the plate yes I remember you that we've made earlier holes on the plate and these holes are for inserting the two threaded bars the one that is bigger that is 10 millimeters wide is such a precise fit that I can insert the plastic tube and keep it there without glue or anything it stays there very firmly I repeat this procedure 20 times in all the plates so let's start putting the electrodes there is a hole that is 8 millimeter it is the smaller one and as you can see the threaded bar fit there such a precise so, so precise that it's not, not necessary welding or soldering with a soldering iron it, it stays there so we put the first plate the other one have to be placed in the opposite direction so be careful where where I'm putting the plastic and where I'm threading the, the threaded bars so I repeat this proce procedure 20 times always um, putting opposite plates so we have one that have plastic on the left and the opposite the other one is on the right the left the right the left the right and this repeat this is repeated all the times so a plastic container is used to put some water in it also a cap is very important because I want to seal it here on the top and I make also two holes so that I can insert the two stainless steel electrodes I put also some nuts here on the threaded bars I insert now the cap and I secure the cap on the top with other two nuts I use now a tester to make sure that the two electrodes and also all the plates doesn't touch each other it only beeps when there is a short circuit so I'm pretty sure that now everything is mounted in the correct way so I can put everything inside a plastic container remember to make also a hole here on the side this hole is used to collect hydrogen and oxygen so a little tube is secure in place I can thread it and maybe also add some super glue to seal it so from this little hole I will collect oxygen and hydrogen I then need to make something that keep the project much more safe in this case I'm talking like a, it's called a bubbler and it's used to make sure that the fire doesn't get back in the first container It's made just taking two little PVC tubes and also a shampoo container this is a shampoo travel container I made two holes here on the cap and I can insert the two tubes be careful one as you can see stops here just in on the cap and the other one goes a little bit further so that can reach the bottom of the container the first one that reached the bottom of the container is connected to the uh, generator so let me take now a container so that we can mix 
water, this is distilled water, and I can mix it with baking soda. Because usually distilled water works like an isolator, doesn't conduct at all electricity, I need to have something like baking soda that instead will create a very highly conductive fluid. I can then pour this water inside the main container and then can fill, fill it up uh, covering all the uh, stainless steel plates and stop almost half centimeters under the exhaust tube that is here on the right. Let me take now the little shampoo container and I can fill it up also with water, in this case very simple tap water works great. I repeat you, this is a safety system that will create bubbles and this will stop in any case fire. So let's see instead on the other side of this tube what I have to make. I'm talking about a torch. This is also a very important uh, piece of this project because I have to have the right dimension and in this case the nozzle is this copper nozzle. It is usually used in MIG welding and this have a little hole in the front that is 0.4 millimeters wide. I can screw it here on this brass tube and then take this. This is brass fiber. I took it apart from inside the microwave. You can find it in front of the magnetron and I can cut it away. You can also use any type of fibers. In this case, brass is great because it doesn't get rust in, during the, the time. So I can make it round with my fingers and then I can insert the brass fibers inside the brass tube. I'm creating like this a flashback ar arrestor. In, in case of a flame, we'll want to go back inside the brass tube, we'll burn only the uh, fire, the oxygen and hydrogen that is inside the brass tube and doesn't get back all the way inside all these transparent tubes and inside the main container. So this is a very good solution. In this case, this safety is very, very important for this project because this gas burn very, very easy. I also made this transformer. This is a 5 volts, but almost 50 ampere. Uh, so it's very, very powerful and then connect positive and a negative to this uh, lead. Wow, I think that this project came out 
great. It looks amazing with all with all these stainless steel plates, and also the flashback arrestor works smoothly. Yes, I never had accident, and this is very important because using this type of gas could be very dangerous. Oxygen and hydrogen burn very easy, and the flame can travel back inside the tubes and also in the big container, in the first container, and can make it make it explode. So a flashback arrestor and a bubbler are absolutely necessary. So it's not my first hydrogen project I'm doing. A couple years ago I also made a very strange prototype that used three containers and in one of these containers you can blow water using the power of your mouth and this can pressurize hydrogen and oxygen which means that you get very a much bigger flame a stronger one it was a very nice project so it was an Italian video because at that time I wasn't doing English videos but I think that visually you can understand almost everything about it I put you a link here below and also if you are interested on how I made the uh, transformer which could be something very very expensive in this case is a 5 volts but almost 50 or 60 ampere it's a very powerful one and you need to have a lot of amperes to do this type of job uh, usually people use also car batteries but this it is on only 5 volts works great works great the water oh, after half an hour 20 minutes starts to get hot so this is the bad part of the project but it works great so i leave you with the two <laughs> so i leave you with the two videos i was talking about uh, check it out if you enjoyed this project leave a thumbs up this is really really appreciated helps a lot my oncoming projects see you next week with another do it yourself tutorial ciao, ciao.